It's time to take a look at another one of the interviews I did with a Trump supporter at Trump's Waco, Texas rally. And this interview is bonkers, I gotta tell you. So prepare yourself. Um, if you're watching on YouTube and you just clicked on the video, stick around because this is wild. At the end of the interview, it's gone so bad that the friend of the guy that I'm interviewing cuts off the interview. Very unhappy with me as you're about to see. Just as a little intro and then we'll dive in. Um, Again, this is Waco, Texas, Trump's first official uh, 2024 presidential campaign rally. We're walking around. We see a guy with a shirt that says Alex Jones was right. Naturally, I have to ask him, right about what? And more specifically, do you believe he was right about Sandy Hook? Um, which, of course, he wasn't. Sandy Hook being the mass shooting that Alex Jones lied about, said it was this false flag operation and crisis actors were involved and uh, he was sued over these claims. The parents were harassed because the supporters believed all these claims of Alex Jones, um, thought the parents were crisis actors. And like I said, Alex Jones was sued, has admitted those statements were not accurate, but some of his followers still believe them. They still believe these conspiracy theories. And what you'll notice in this interview is, and part of why I left in the beginning, kind of a lot of his uh, trying to figure out what he's going to disclose and what he's not, is because at the beginning he seems to be trying to uh, convey that he doesn't believe those things anymore but then as the interview goes on he absolutely does still believe sandy hook was this false flag operation and that is disturbing even when alex jones is saying those were inaccurate statements still some of his supporters are that detached from reality take a look at this what a wild interview Obvious question I got to start with, right about what? Right about what? About all the... Uh, oh wait, get a shot of the shirt so you can see. Alex Jones was right. What was he right about, huh? Yeah. Been right about all the deep state, all the things that are, that they're uh, tearing apart, you know, they're trying to tear our country down. Uh, he was right about it all. Would you say he was right about the mass shootings being false flags? I'm not. I really don't want to answer that question. You know, uh, so I'm guessing the, the answer is yes. Do right? I, do I, no, it's, the answer is no. So you'll notice at the beginning he says the answer is no, and then I leave in a good bit of him kind of struggling to decide if he's going to share with me what he actually feels or not, and then you'll see how it progresses. But um, just kind of wait through all of his thinking moments, and uh, then you'll see what it gets to. No, I don't think it is. I think that I think it's been. I think it's been. I don't know. I, I really think it's been, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's been... Uh, you can keep skin forward. <laughs> I don't want you to lose your place in line. I, I, I think that's all a bunch of hype, actually. I think the media spun it. That's my That's my belief. I think that... Sandy think, Hook? Yeah. Even I though think, parents were being harassed by supporters? I don't believe all that, man. I mean, you know, the guy, the guy was demonized for that. He come out and apologized. I don't think he demonized people. So you're saying you don't think Sandy Hook parents were actually being harassed and they had to move multiple I don't times, think so. which no. you can see they actually had to do that? He admits Alex Jones has apologized for those lies. Why do you think he... Uh, why, why does he think that he's apologizing if none of the harassment even happened and if, as he's about to get to, there were crisis actors, then what the heck is Alex Jones apologizing for? Pardon me? Do you me? think these parents are just lying? I think that, uh, do I think they're lying? Man, I really, <laughs> I really want to answer that question, man, because I don't really, I don't know. I don't know if they're lying, you know? All I know, my point is, my point is, when I see a parent crying mm -hmm. because their kid got murdered in a mass shooting, mm -hmm. my first instinct is to trust them and not the guy who makes money lying about them. Well, what about, what about, I mean, I, I do believe that there was people that was, uh, what they, what they, I guess they call, uh, uh, there were some, some crisis actors. I mean, how do you explain that? The crisis actors that there were caught, though. That's he that, was were caught in, that were caught in certain different places. I can't explain something that didn't happen. Places. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were in the same places. How do you explain that? Do you, do you trust our government? I don't trust the government, but I trust the facts. Okay. What are the facts? The facts are that 
parents lost their children, and then a man by the uh, name of Alex Jones lied about that and said there was crisis actors and fed well, you your know brain what? with a but, bunch but of nonsense. People, but people took that and blew it up over parents. something because you know what I believe? I believe the only reason that they're doing this is because they're gonna, they've got to take him down, right? When they take him, and then we're about to get to the part where his friend gets involved. Down. Who's gonna go next? Why you know, go, why don't we go about everything else that he's right about instead of let's let's not focus on Sandy Hook. Let's fight. Let's focus on all of the other things that he has been right about. So if you can't hear the guy off camera, he's saying uh, and you'll see him come on camera in a second. Why are we focusing on Sandy Hook? Why can't we focus on the things that Alex Jones has been right about? Such as? Everything, everything that's in the world today. Everything that's in the world today. Absolutely. The gay frogs? Yeah. <laughs> really? Have you, have you watched the science on that? I have not. I am yet to watch any science that indicates to me Alex Jones was correct about this big governmental operation to turn frogs gay and people gay and all these different things. Well, you might ought to. Okay. And, uh... The reason why this is an issue is because I know a lot of supporters of his feel like that he was wronged in that way. So it's kind of a pressing wrong. news. Right. So then if you believe that, then I think it's fair for us to discuss well, that we particular could, case. No, I'm good with that. Of ignoring I, 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 We've I, already discussed it. There's nothing else to discuss. Okay. I mean, dude, I, I mean, I, I, good evening. I, I, good evening. Uh, you could tell the guy I was talking with for most of the interview wanted to keep talking, but his friend shut it down. He was very unhappy with me. In case you missed somehow the Alex Jones gay frog saga, let me just quickly give you the context as to why that came up. Uh, it started off with the people were being turned gay by the government, and then the frogs got added in here from CNBC. One of Jones's most notorious conspiracy theories is that the government is using chemicals in order to turn people gay using a mysterious gay bomb devised by the Pentagon. Quote, the reason there's so many gay people now is because it's a chemical warfare operation and I have the government documents where they said they're going to encourage homosexuality with chemicals so that people don't have children. That was in 2010. And then five years later, the theory took a turn in a rant that has since become a meme and a line of t-shirts. Jones said he didn't like the government putting chemicals in the water that turned the friggin' frogs gay. Uh, the majority of frogs in most areas of the United States are now gay, Jones said in 2017. So apparently the government is constantly attempting to turn all sorts of different things gay, according to Alex Jones and according to that individual uh, you saw there, which is funny. The not funny part is when you're talking about Sandy Hook and you realize even when Alex Jones has come out and said the things he said in the past are not accurate, still some of his supporters believe these conspiracy theories. And it's proof that when you program your brain to think in conspiracy theories terms about everything, and that's the way that you approach the world, that's the lens that you look through to see the world, um, it is really hard to deprogram your brain after that. Um, and it's concerning and it's dangerous. Make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel from the deepest, darkest depths of my heart. I say thank you for that.